Okay, when we go to the front side of the machine, we can see there are two cover at the left and the right side of the machine. Inside is the electricity control system of the machine. Here is the, the key, the knob to lock the cover. So if we want to open it, we must uh, move this knob to flight and take it out and make it down. Then we can get the cover out. And the, the, the right side also the same way. We move up and then push down. Then we can open the cover. Please be careful that there are two cables connect with this red side cover. It's the cooling fan to suck out the hot air inside of the, of the control system. Okay, when we open the two cover, we can see the whole control system of the Fox Atlas UV printer. So from the left, here is the control system of the air pressure system, the negative, negative air pressure system to supply the vacuum, vacuum negative pressure for the ink and ink tank. There are some ink, ink pump, value, and control system. This whole system are the control system of the value, of, of the negative pressure system. And then here is the electricity filter for the whole electricity system. And the switch for the machine. And there are two, the two 220 switch for the, the motor driver and the temp controller for the, the Z motor driver and the, the the switch for the vacuum, for the vacuum, vacuum motor, the, the, the table absorption, the big power vacuum motor. And when we go to the top, here is the 24 voltage power supply box. It's only separately, only used for this negative pressure system. And here is the power supply box, 24-42 voltage. Here is 24 voltage, 24 voltage power supply box used for the sensor, the some uh, spare parts, except the, the control board. And here is 24 power supply box is only used for the main board and print board, the carriage board. So we separate, uh, separately power supply for, separate, for, for special spare parts for safety. And here is 24 power supply box, box used for, only used for the print head. Then here are two are three motor driver. One for X motor driver and one for Y axis motor driver and one for the rotary device motor driver. So totally three motor driver. Two or three motor driver is, is according to your configuration. So if you bought, if you bought the Rotary device, they will got three motor driver. If you, if you not bought the rotary printing device, then you only have two, X and Y. The Z is installed at the, the rear, inside of the rear. So this one is only used for the rotary printing device motor, motor driver. And at the right side is the main board. The main board for the 
system. Okay, when we go to the main board, we can see there are some cable connected to the main board. So from top, here is the UV lamp signal cable. And here is the ink pump at the bottom of the machine. The 24 minus is together. And the, here is for different ink pump, different column. And here is power supply plug. 42 plug, 42 minus 42 plus, and 24 minus 24 plus. Some different plug. It's to supply the power to the main board. And here is the optical cable connect to the carriage board that we talked before. And please remember, here also have TX RX mark at each side. So TX, TX connect with the RX at the carriage board, while the RX connect with the TX at the carriage board. So that's a close connection. And here is the Y motor for, for, the, for the flatbed Y motor signal cable to the Y motor motor driver. And here is the X motor signal cable connect from the main board to the X motor driver. And here is the the Y original limit sensor is the front limit sensor. And this one is the Y bike limit sensor. It's at the back side of the table. Here is the Z down limit sensor. It's at the, the back side of the machine for machine move up and down. And here is the USB cable. Uh, here's the, the Giga Signal the Giga Ethernet cable connect from the main board to the computer. So please pay attention that here is the Ethernet cable, but not the USB cable. The Ethernet cable will get the more stable, more stable signal uh, transit, and the more stable uh, for the for the transit data. And here is the Z motor for the rotary device. Uh, here is a Z motor for the up down motion. And here, this one is for the rotary printing device signal cable. Here is for up down motion, the table, the rear up down motor driver. So here is the, all the wire connection plug for each for the main board. So when we go to the top of the carriage, we can see there are totally eight screws to lock the carriage. So first we must uh, loosen the screw at the front, right, and front left. Then we loosen the screw at the right side. And the lock loosen the two screw at the left. After we loosen all the screw, then we can take it out, the front cover. When we take out the cover, we can see there are some spare parts installed at the bottom of the carriage. Okay, when we open the top cover of the carriage, first we can see there's a board, electricity board, installed on the top of the carriage. And this board we code, professional code as carriage board or print board. So 
from the carriage board, there are lots of cables connect on the board. So from the top left, first one is the in court sensor that installed at the bottom of the carriage. And this one is the left home limit sensor and the right X right limit sensor. All the cable with the mark on the cable. And here is empty for update. So this cable is for the anti in collision system to protect the carriage and print head without scratch. The signal plug for the anti in collision system that installed at the left and the right side of the carriage. And this pin is for the front, left, and right plastic air tank level sensor. It's used for once the ink go back to the air tank. The air tank will give a signal to the board. The board will stop pump ink and pump air to the system to protect the ink supply system and air pressure system. So this plug is for the front two air tank ink lever sensor. And here is the ink lever sensor for the front ink tank, but not air tank. It's for ink tank, black, cyan, magenta, yellow, white, varnish for each. So once the front ink lever sensor, once the ink lever sensor got detect that the ink tank lack of ink, then the board will start to pump the ink to refill the ink from the board, the ink bottle to the sub ink tank to get a stable printing. So this is all the electricity program for the machine. And once you get the machine, all the cable is connected way ready, except the print head cable, print head not installed for safety, for, for protect print head without damage during delivery because the print head is very dangerous, it's very expensive. It's the core main spare parts for a machine. So please just keep all the cable, all the tuber as default without touch, without change any wire, any plug. If you get any problem, you need to contact with focus support team at the first time, but not do any wrong operation without full understand the machine or without the guidance and our technical people. And also at the back side is a cooling fan to suck out the hot air at the carriage. So this is all the spare parts, the function and the name for each at the bottom of the carriage. Thank you. Okay, when we go to the right side of the machine, we can see here is the front limit sensor. When the sensor get detected by the, the detect by the metal at that install at the bottom of the slide, then we'll stop to move front. So this is the front limit sensor. And here is the ball screw. The ball screw, the ball screw inside both screw and linear rear for the y-axis. Okay, when we go to the back side of the machine, we can see they also have one lead sensor that installed at the back side of the machine. This is, this is the back lead sensor. When the rear go back to the back side, they will automatically stop when it detects by the sensor. And also inside is the ball screw and the linear rear. 